Welcome back. Joe McIntyre is here, and I understand you're with the Harrison Skate Park Committee. Yes, ma'am. What, well, you've recently received a grant mm -hmm. from Pepsi. Pepsi Refresh, yes. It was a competitive grant um, where they have a website that people had to go through oh, and really? vote. Right. It, was, it was tough. We every actually, day. I mean, I yeah, voted every day every, that I could. Thank so. you. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was definitely a huge community effort. Who um, are you competing against? Did, did, all did of you the know nation. That? There, there, yeah, there was like 1,300 different projects on there. So we were competing all over the nation with so did you a get first whole place, lot of different. Place, um, were, we, were came in, we came in seven in really? our category. We were in the $25,000 category. We came in seven. Mm -hmm. And um, we, you basically, you, you submit your proposal and then you promote. And we got on, you know, all the social networking um, you know, like Facebook Facebook's and Twitter yeah, exactly. and that kind of thing, and then local media. And then, of course, the idea is you get people on there who get people who get people who get people. Yeah. Um, we had one of our Facebook fans in particular who took a special interest in the project, who has a couple grandchildren who are skaters, and um, she became affectionately known as Grandma Debbie all over the Internet, and she kind of uh, helped coordinate the voting partners. Mm -hmm. We had partners that they voted for our project, we voted for their project. Right. And that's what it takes, doesn't it? It to, does. To, to get the, that kind of money, you have to really network yourself. You have to do it all. Yeah. You have to do the partnering. You have to do the local media. You have to do the, the social net. I mean, you really have to push and do it all. Mm -hmm. Talking one-on-one, -on -one, we passed out like 1,500 flyers all over town, you know, on top mm -hmm. of the newspapers and the TV. And Making radio people aware. And, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Getting it out there. And now that you've, uh, and how much did you get? The 25000 $25, You got the $25,000. Mm -hmm. And wh where's that money going to be put to? Well, Con concrete. Um, the <laughs> phase enough. one, right? It's all concrete. Um, <clears throat> phase one of the project. Right now, we are within ten thousand dollars of the completed funds mm -hmm. to do phase one. Um, yes. uh, yeah, that uh, the, on the screen there. That's the full park, and then off to the uh, top um, right-hand corner is the um, phase one, which will be starting soon. Uh, the Ten thousand dollars, we can get enough in in kind and material donations and that kind mm -hmm, of thing to mm -hmm. make that up. But we've start. we've come with one hundred ninety thousand. We've come a long way. Wow. Now the city had a had a lot of construct pre construction that they had to do. They had some old old drainage pipes right. that they were, were rotted out and sewer lines. And, yeah, so yes. that was an expense for them to to get that because you. You can't start until that's completed, right? Right, and they are finished with that right now. Um, at this time, we're waiting um, right now for Hardcore, which is the company is a sister company of American Ramp that's building our park, and we're we're waiting for them to send us a contract so we can go over that. And then um, Frank Gelinas and myself will be um, traveling up to Joplin, where their um, company is, and um, having kind of a pre. A little powwow. Pre-design yeah. meeting, and mm -hmm. we're ready to start as soon as the rest of the red tape is completed. Do you know how this wow. physically is going to be made? Because uh, because it's just not pouring concrete. There's got to be molds and, and contours and, and different things Skate like that. Skate parks are very specialty. I mean, it's the concrete is, is not your standard you know sidewalk concrete. Mm -hmm. All the transitions have to be just right or it won't be skatable. Yeah. So um, the company that And is, then safety is a, a, a big thing, right, too. Right, won't be safe or skatable. And yeah. so the company that's building our park, is this is what they do. They, they're, they're skaters. Many of them okay. are skaters oh, really? or BMXers them, themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this so is they, they have the know-how. And, and right. What they have the knowledge of what to do. And so, some of the stuff is um, precast, actually made there in their factory in Joplin. Oh, really? Yes, okay. some of the, like, the stair sets and, and ramps and that kind of thing. So that will be brought on site and it'll then they'll attach site, it to It will be brought on site and the then poured in place wow. with the rest of the concrete. That's and it will be beautiful. It's a multi-use park. This, a lot of people may not realize this, this park is not just good for skating. Uh -huh. There'll be a staging area. You can have, you know, public events and bands oh, there. Cool. Um, cool. It, it'll definitely majorly improve the aesthetics of that area. Yeah. And and right now, it's just an old uh, it, abandoned park. Right, park. right. And it's just, you know, it could be used... For many purposes. Look, yeah. When you say multi-purpose, and you mentioned skate and uh, bike, will it be used? Can bikes uh, do? Yes, do it's a, also a, a BMX. Yes, it's okay. also a, we'll have bike elements. It's also made for BMX or, or rollerbladers. 
Um, we have quite a few BMXers. Mm -hmm. um, actually, one of the grants that we got for the park is from a group called um, Bikes Belong, which is a coalition that promotes riding bikes. And okay. mm -hmm. they um, uh, gave us a $5,000 grant cool. towards wow. this cool. project. So. Now, once phase one, how many phases are there? Two, just two There's phases? There's three phases. There are three phases. Yes. Once three, the third phase is done, is, is there any plans to do any more? Um, at this time, there may be. Um, actually, one of our plans at this time is to form a kind of a Friends of Harrison Skate Park mm -hmm. group, of five, mm -hmm. actually applying for the 501c3 for that group. Mm -hmm. okay. And the purpose of that group will be to promote skate parks, skateboarding, yeah. BMXing, that kind of thing. And, um, could, th could this be used for like tournaments? Uh, John it, Phillips was here earlier. Yes, and that's what, that's what that group will kind of do. Um, promote tournaments, continue to raise funds for maintenance and improvements and, and that kind of thing. And to bring awareness, I mean, too, right. that this is available and like you mm -hmm. said, I mean, tournaments or whatever, bring right. other people in to And those, these tournaments are it. very popular. They, they tend to bring, um, if they're good tournaments and they get on these professional circuits, um, they tend to bring big names in mm -hmm. and they bring tourist revenue. It's a cool thing for yeah. Harrison. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Well, great. So That's what, uh, wonderful. Uh, uh, for our viewing audience, you just want the, the, to, to bring awareness? awareness? Right, awareness and also the, the fact that, you know, we're not finished yet. We've just got mm -hmm. money for phase one. We still need money for phase two okay. and phase three. So, so where, where, could, where could somebody make a donation or maybe even contact someone to talk about funding some of the projects? That well, are they can call my yet. office. Um, Northwest Arkansas Resource Conservation mm -hmm. Development is the 501c3 in charge of this project. Okay. Um, my number is 870 seven four one eight six zero zero extension one eighteen um, we also have a website um, they can get on our website if they if you if you have a Facebook and you want to keep up with what's going on mm -hmm. with the skate park that's the best place to do it they become a fan of Harrison skate park and we have um, we kind of keep that updated, updated as to what's going mm -hmm. on and where we're at and that kind of thing. do you know okay. when you're gonna start construction do you have to Bas come up with the rest of the ten thousand dollars before you can start? Or? No, basically we're just like I said, we got to negotiate the contract, have a meeting, and break ground. And okay. so, like, exactly when I'm not sure, it just depends on getting everybody together and how long that takes. But um, the park should be built by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Well, let us so. know. Keep us up to date yes. here, okay. and, and we'll try and get the word out. Great. Right. Great. Thank you so much, Joe. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much Thank for being you. here. Come mm -hmm. back again sometime. Let sure. us know what's going on. All I right. Sure will. Up next, Kathy Robinson with the Backyard Framers. Stay with us. All right.